What's up, beer lovers? Tonight is a really exciting night on my channel. Um, I was fortunate enough to win a lottery to be able to purchase this beer. This is Trappist West Veteran 12. Um, some people consider this the greatest beer on earth. Other people consider this the holy grail of craft beer. Um, either way, like I said, I was incredibly fortunate to get my hands on this beer. Um, this beer is not normally found in the United States, at least upon mass. People may bring them over from Belgium, but it's never been released here before, and this will probably be the only time it was released in the United States. Um, what happened is the Abbey, the monks that brew this beer, are not interested in commercial endeavors. They only make enough of this beer to pay to upkeep their Abbey. And unfortunately, their roof went bad. And the Abbey needed some repairs, so they decided to capitalize on the U.S. craft brew market and do a one-time release of this beer. And it's it was in such high demand. I entered a lottery to be able to purchase a six-pack of this beer. I fortunately won that lottery. I had to pay $85.95 for the six-pack, about $90 with tax. Um, but anyway, it came with six beers, of course and two of these glasses that say West Veteran 12 on the front. They have a 12 etched in the bottom and a nice gold rim. Now, this beer currently is number two on Beer Advocate's top 100 list. It also has a 100 score from Beer Advocate, though the bros have it at 94. There is a lot of hype surrounding this beer. I hope that you were able to get your hands on some of this. I don't know that you'll be able to find it now. They're Hey, if you're really, really lucky, maybe there's a six-pack floating around somewhere, or a buddy of yours will, will break a bottle off to you or something. But um, for those of you that can't get a hold of this beer, um, and it may very well be an impossibility for you, there is another beer um, that is, I've heard, is quite similar to this. It's called St. Bernardus Abbott 12, and it's actually number 38 on Beer Advocate's Top 100. It has an 80 or 98 score, though the bros have it at 100. They're both Belgian quads, and I've heard they're very, very similar. Um, I have had the other one, so I'm going to crack this one open and see. Um, I'll let you know at the end if they're, if they're similar enough where you could get something close to this. Um, hopefully, though, like I said, you were able to get your hands on one of those six packs, too, in that limited release. Um, but anyway... This is 10.2 ABV. It is a Belgian quad. Let's crack it open and see how it is. I'm going to be very careful with the cap because I want to put this cap in my cap collection. So, there we go. Undamaged. I am super excited to try this beer. Well, in the little chalice, which feels like it's about, maybe it would hold eight ounces at maximum seven, somewhere in that range. Uh, it pours to a very nice dark brown color. It poured to, oh, maybe a quarter to a half an inch ahead, which doesn't seem to be going anywhere. And it definitely laces in the glass. Now, that smells really nice. Um... I smell a little bit of fig and some really nice caramel notes. Um, there is absolutely no scent of hops, though there shouldn't be. Um, it smells absolutely wonderful. Mmm. It's a very very nice beer. It's very sweet. Um, it, it's super smooth, though there is just a hint of the alcohol with it. You really taste the, the, the dark Belgian candy sugars and the caramelized notes from that. Um, and there's a few other minor player notes in there as well um, that, in all fairness, it, it's very complex and it would take me a while to 
sift through my palate, especially as excited as I am to be drinking this right now. And if my memory serves me right, on the St. Bernardus, they're fairly close. To say which one is better, I couldn't tell you. Um, they are actually remarkably close from what I remember of it. Um, cheers to you. Like I said, I hope you were able to get your hands on one of these, um, at least for the one time rare occurrence to get to try the number two beer according to Beer Advocate. A lot of people, like I said, consider this the world's greatest beer. It's probably the one chance I'll have to enjoy one of these. So I'm going to sign off with you. Wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, enjoy the rest of this.